with 91 Seconds on Film, I'm Ben Knuckles. My lone trip to the Sundance Film Festival in 2003 left me convinced that audiences there were not to be trusted. Anything with the slightest hint of edge or subversion, no matter how shoddy, is embraced by festival goers who want to believe it was worth the effort to squeeze into a packed screening. So when Focus Features paid $10 million to acquire Hamlet 2 after a rapturous reception at Sundance, I made a mental note to temper my expectations. I had no idea how low I needed to go. Hamlet 2 isn't just soulless and artificially quirky like Little Miss Sunshine. It's truly dreadful, a shapeless and tone-deaf series of riffs on the theme of humiliation. The typically reliable Steve Coogan delivers a tiresome performance as Dana Marge, a cartoonishly inept high school drama teacher. He's a fringe supporting player thrust into the center of every scene, and the scrutiny doesn't flatter him. The best Coogan can muster is a banal sort of pathos. Catherine Keener seethes with droll contempt as Dana's wife, and Elizabeth Shue sparkles as a washed-up version of herself. But the filmmakers aren't interested in these formidable women, nor in Dana's students, who never rise above stereotypes. Hamlet 2 rousts itself at the climax for a couple of spirited, vulgar musical numbers from Dana's ill-advised Shakespearean sequel. At this point, it's clear that the truly amateurish mess is not Hamlet 2 the play, it's Hamlet 2 the movie. With 91 Seconds on Film, I'm Ben Knuckles. 91 Seconds on Film can be heard Thursdays and Saturdays at 2.20, Friday mornings at 9.20, and Friday afternoons at 5.20.